Thank you so much. Oh my goodness, I'm super excited to walk with you today through another lesson on who's Holy Spirit. And this is these are short but extremely powerful. And today we're looking at something that I love. I really love this because I don't think we often think in terms of in these ways with the Holy Spirit. We're looking today at two parts of the Holy Spirit. Number one, fruit of the Holy Spirit. And then we're looking as well at the gifts of the Holy Spirit. The fruit of the Holy Spirit we read about in Galatians 5, verses 22 and 23. And I love these. This is like evidence, fellowship, result. When we have fellowship with the Holy Spirit, then these characteristics kind of rub off on us. Have you ever been around somebody and you start to pick up their mannerisms or their words and they kind of, you start saying some of their vocabulary, they rub off on you? Well, that's in essence what this is with the fruit of the Holy Spirit. And in Galatians 5, 22, it says the fruit of the Spirit is... Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Seven, sorry, nine fruits of the Holy Spirit. Evidence, results, consequences. When we're around the Holy Spirit, this is this kind of the, the, His presence shapes and molds our attitudes, our behaviors, our conversations. So we have this fruit, this consequence, expression of the Holy Spirit, and evidence of that fellowship. Let me encourage you as well. Paul talks about not only the fruits of the Holy Spirit, but also the gifts, the gifts of the Holy Spirit. We read about these in 1 Corinthians 12, verses 8 through 10. And these gifts are super fun. Oh my goodness. They are absolutely amazing because they're very supernatural. And these gifts, I believe that each of us can ask the Holy Spirit for these gifts and to see these gifts operating in our lives. And what I did is I kind of broke these down. There's nine gifts, and I made them kind of, for me, I'm kind of like the simple approach. So I just broke them into three little groups. The power gifts, which are called miracles, faith, and healing. Then Paul talks about what we call the spoken gifts, and that would be prophecy, speaking in tongues, and interpretation of tongues. And then finally, what I call the wisdom gifts. Wisdom as in word of wisdom, word of knowledge, and discerning of spirits. And these gifts, I believe, are accessible just for the asking. When we ask the Holy Spirit, love to have these gifts working in my life. Because I love to have the supernatural. I love to have you, Holy Spirit, working throughout my life. Not only with the fruits and the character and molding that, but also with the expression of power and demonstration of the Holy Spirit working through us. So thank you so much for watching. Of course, I'd love to have you grab your copy of In Step with the Spirit, my latest book on who the Holy Spirit is in our daily living. And of course, give me some feedback, a thumbs up, thumbs down, comments, questions. Love to have your feedback. It's super, super great for me. And love to have you subscribe because that's amazing and super powerful because then we get some continuity and kind of some consistency with connecting. And of course, finally, we have this really amazing, phenomenal joke <laughs> depending on your point of view, at the end of every lesson. And it says, why did Noah have to punish the chickens on the ark? Why did Noah have to punish the chickens on the ark? Because they were using foul language. Yep, <laughs> doesn't get much better than that. Thanks again for watching.